Hello, I'm going to review the latest video of apples and amandas, why I don't tell my patients to go vegan. I am in the middle of cooking a bunch of random things and doing dishes and I thought, you know, this is just the best time to start a what I eat in a day vlog. In it. I'm currently roasting some carrots right now, just roast them whole like this. Today is Monday night. It's technically like my Sunday night. Today I'm just taking advantage of the fact that the kitchen is not in use by anybody. Nobody else. Obviously, she doesn't want to eat raw carrots. They are hard and like indigestible. Prep things, meal prep things. That ideally I've never seen anybody do that though. For every two weeks or so to make life easier for me throughout the week. But I thought I'd just show you what exactly I'm doing. By the way, if you are new here, hello, hi, my name is Amanda, I'm a registered dietitian and I am also vegan and I'm a human being, but anyway, I do a lot of videos on lifestyle. I'll give you one out of three, like maybe. Yoga. I am a yoga teacher as well, if you're interested in that stuff, I, sorry if you guys are familiar with this, but the new people, they gotta know. Join this little community that we got going on. If you just happen to click I on this, I would call it a cult. for being here and for watching okay. this far. Like, why are you still watching? But you know, just the bowls with a lot of random stuff in it, and then you just throw on a sauce and avocado, and then you're good to go. So always I really the like sauce. Those, and I love probably my favorite part of it is the sauce. So I like <laughs> to have a sauce available for me every time. You're making it too Sometimes easy. Sometimes it's just like avocado, nutritional yeast, and like ketchup. I don't know. I just I don't think about when I'm gonna get hungry. So when I get hungry. I just want to eat something right away, which is why I have a snack while I'm cooking because I'm already hungry. So it's good to have things prepared ahead of time so I can just put it all together and then eat. These are the black beans all cooked up together. Super. When you eat a natural diet and you don't need to prepare food, you don't need to get it ready to eat because it's always ready already. Natural food is uh, fast food. That's why fast food by which i mean junk food appeals to the slaves the masses and what the hell is this looks like toxic sludge uh, the ingredients cooked beans they're toxic vegetables are all toxic leafy greens yeah no wonder it looks like that <laughs> why would you eat that it completely goes against your senses it doesn't at all look edible, appetizing, nothing. Easy to make. Then I have these uh, roasted carrots that are super easy to just chop up or put into a grain bowl or like a nourish Buddha bowl, you know, whatever you guys call them. So with my super batch cooked ingredients, I just put together what it I could. It looks burnt. Kind of like it doesn't look like food at all. Here, the roasted carrots and then the beans. For lunch tomorrow, I decided I wanted basically that, but with lettuce that we had and then this they eat mushrooms it because the texture reminds them of meat. That's so it. It has zero nutritional it, value. Do, and I also mix into the bircha one scoop of each kind of Vivo Life Magic Latte mixes because it's such a good add-on. Plus there's adaptogenic It's toxic. And you do it because you have no energy. It produces so stress all hormones. All the links are in the description. And now everything goes into the fridge. Perfect. got home and then I started snacking on some cherries and then I was like, oh shoot, I am really hungry. So now I'm gonna make some dinner. In a search for more snacks, I found this carrot and freaking miso tahini sauce that I have that I made. That is my secret recipe right now. And this is like a whole big roasted carrot too. <laughs> All right, so this is the setup. You got the soup. Come on. You got some bread. Of course you, got you gotta avocado, put some sauce everything. to but eat the, the carrot. Seasoning, my special tahini miso <laughs> sauce. By the way, I forgot that I ate a bunch of roasted carrots at lunch, so I definitely had enough vitamin Every a natural plant-eating animal eat. likes Got the plants that they eat. Here. Just like and that, no sauce is nothing. Some arugula. <sighs> it's just complete mental illness, living in denial. Because I am vegan, I do subscribe to eating a plant-based diet, and I do advocate it on my social media platforms as the most sustainable way to prevent and reverse a lot of 
certain diseases that people tend to go through in this country. Remember that everything there is caused the by sugar, vegetables, and grains. Attack, renal failure, <laughs> All of it. Ninety percent of the patients aren't even open to hearing about changing their diet that much. Like they already don't want to eat the cardiac diet that's served to them at the hospital. They're already very unhappy with eating low sodium. So what I do when I go in there is I talk about their diet because I'm required to. Doctors want their patients to know about. By low sodium, she probably means low salt. Of course, you should not eat salt. It's absolutely ridiculous, but it doesn't mean that you should eat low sodium. Just a natural amount of sodium that is found in meat. That's perfect. And of course, the patients don't want to eat a diet because what they recommend for cardiovascular health it's already plant-based. They wouldn't even have to change much. And then we give them more information about what is a heart-healthy diet, what is a low-sodium diet, how can you implement that back home. I'll use the heart-healthy diet as an example. I always emphasize eating more whole grains, eating more fiber foods, eating more fruits and vegetables, eating less saturated fat, and I tell them where sat saturated fat and trans fat is of course linked together. <laughs> what an absolute joke. Uh... Typical. The lies of the medical industry. Whole milk? Of course not. If anything, pasteurized skim milk. <laughs> they don't even mention raw milk. Sausage. Sure, you should not eat sausage. It's basically telling you to cut out all of the foods that have the fat-soluble vitamins. Animal fat. The plant fat, oils, have none of it. They are absolutely useless. They are promoting malnutrition. It's so important for your heart health. K2, incredibly important. Saturated fat is mostly found in eating less cholesterol containing foods, and I tell them what that's found in eating less fried foods, oily foods, and trying to stick to whole processed foods. And then I go into the whole spiel about how eating a plant based diet can actually improve their health conditions, has been shown to halt the progression of heart disease, has been shown to increase nitric oxide production in There's the blood exactly and the zero proof for in this. our blood vessels. It's been shown to strengthen our muscles. It's been shown to help people lose healthy weight that they need to lose. Just increase overall. They lose energy. weight because it's malnutrition. I'm not this because I want people to save the animals. I'm saying this because I think it's within every patient's right you're to know saying it what because kind of path of healing they can go under. I tell them that they do have these medications, but if they include healthy eating and lifestyle modifications, then their life could be a little bit easier. And I don't go into too much detail what the because hell was one, that? we don't have enough time. And two, most Vegans of the time, patients, take they pills. don't really remember what's <laughs> People going who eat on meat what they say because there's don't so much going on in their mind. Like, when Vegans am I going to go home? Have I been gone from work for too long? <laughs> so I really encourage you to pass this. I'm handing you this baton right now. If you know this information, please spread it to somebody who can benefit from it and who it can really help because the world could use it. Yeah, okay. She's a religious dietitian. She doesn't give a shit about human health or what our natural diet is. That's all that I saw. <laughs> Come on, there's over 50 nutrients that you can't get from plants. What the hell do they teach you? What did you learn? We have studies that prove that we can convert better carotene, for example, to vitamin A. How can you recommend it to human beings? who have always gotten vitamin A from animal fat and liver, of course. It's how it's always been. It's how it always will be. We cannot convert it. It's proven. That's it. <laughs> and that's just the start of the alphabet, vitamin A. There's so many nutrients that you can get and some which you can get a little bit of, such as iodine and zinc, you get in the completely wrong ratios. Also the same with the sodium and potassium. And because of the anti-nutrients, you get even less. It doesn't let you absorb them. She didn't talk about any of it. What is this? Yeah, an absolute joke. Dietitian? No way. Somebody who wants to brainwash people to follow an ideology for whatever reason? Absolutely, that's what I saw here. Thanks for watching.